Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Battletech. Episode 2 is here, I have the proper code, I redid the first hour or so, we're back to exactly where we were, and I'm just ready to go, man. I am so, so pumped. Um, the one thing I don't know if we covered in the last episode that I'll cover now, uh, is this little bar right here, it's morale. This morale is used for very particular things. Specifically blue abilities. Blue abilities are very special abilities. They eat up the morale bar and if you let the morale get to 100 You get a special abilities uh, a special bonus rather uh, that you can use um, Right now the two abilities we have are vigilance where I can entrench myself remove all stability damage and like heal myself not heal myself But uh, it gives us a bunch of benefits for for not moving more or less But it bumps our initiative uh, to up a bit and then we have precision strike where I can make a called shot at the uh, expense of hitting the target's next initiative as well. So just useful things. So we've got four medium mechs and a light mech for this. Commander. And what we need to do is kill off the generator to eliminate the turrets, which I don't know if it's here or here. It's over here, it looks like. All right, cool. So why don't we take Decker, our fast mech, and we start, we move him up a bit and see if we can uh, get aye, aye. all of our dudes up towards this thing. You, Commander. Moving out. We're just gonna move all of our mechs up. Oh, we've already got enemy contact. All right. You are trespassing on Majesty Metals and manufacturing property and acting in collusion with a domestic terrorist organization. All right, Decker's gonna be Cease able to move first. Immediately, or you will be fired upon. We've got two turrets over here, at least right now. Why don't we move up and see if we can hit these guys? I'm just afraid if we get too close, we're gonna get. We're gonna make contact with something else. And I'm not sure I'm ready to deal with it. And he doesn't have anything. He's got a couple mediums. So why don't we give it a shot, I guess? All right, let's see if he can do some damage onto this thing. Oh, we picked up some more enemies. See, yeah, that was my concern. Oh, damn. We got more turrets over here? We got four turrets. Two mechs, another turret here. My guess is well. Oh no, there's another turret right there. We can see it. 80% on the sniper turret. LRM, LRM, sniper. So we can hit all of these. Doesn't really matter what we shoot at. LRM, LRM, minigun, minigun, AC222. Why don't we go for 90, 90, uh, they're both all the same. So why don't we just try? The sniper turrets. They didn't do much, but did something. Now we got mechs moving in. Ooh, we got another spider. All right, that scares me a bit. Ooh, our turn. Okay, that's good actually. I can't hit them from here. If I sprint, I still can't hit them. If I jump, oh, I might be able to hit the turrets, presumably with my lasers. Let's see what else we go. got. If we jump here, we can hit them with, I assume her LRM is what we can hit them with. And then if we just move, she can hit them with her LRMs as well. All right, let's move Mathis up here. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Which way did I, did I, did my mouse move the wrong way or was I just not paying attention? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, the way he's facing is not good. All right, well, fuck. Engaging target. I hit it once. God, that was a mistake. What can I, do I for you? had him face the wrong way like a moron. If we go here, it's all LRMs. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Let's just move, start moving them up. <sighs> That's LRMs, 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 LRMs. All right, why don't we go for the one that's hit with the LRMs then? Acknowledged. Let's see if we can at least take out one of the turrets. Nope. Waiting Not at you, all. Commander. Instead, let's let's sprint. Let's get her up as fast as we can. Build up some evasion on her. Keep her out of their sight. If 
fingers crossed that does enough. Sensor locked. Oh, okay. They've got a lock on you. Who's sensor locking? Warning. Enemy sensor wow, they sensor locked locked three out of four of us. Oh, nothing hit us, but we got hit. <laughs> Damage minimal. All right, that's fine. All right, minimal damage. That's the sniper turrets shooting at us. Minimal damage for both, which is good. Damage is minor, Commander. Okay, it's Decker. We gotta move him. We can punch him. So if I get here and punch him, will that work? and keep us out of vision of everything else. I don't think so. That might not be the smartest move. But if I move here, it'll keep him blocked. On my way. Hopefully. Really, 45, that's it? I copy. I lucked out, I hit him twice. Another mech, commando. Ooh, baby, he just fucking unloaded on me. Warning, armor low. Spider's gonna move now. Structure exposed, but we're still okay. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. Mathis, Glitch, What's up, Fox? and Behemoth. I'm thinking we run up with Behemoth, punch him, and do a ton of damage and get closer. Let's get Behemoth up close. Got it. And just fucking hopefully knock this guy off his ass. Did we kill him? CT destroyed, pilot down, beautiful. Target neutralized. Beautiful. The Blackjack. Honestly, it might be worth it to get the hell out. I hear ya. If I move here, we could do a multi-target hit, possibly. Let's move up to here. With the Vindicator. And let's try doing a multi-target attack, where we go for this and for this. Eighty-five, forty, and forty. Let's do it. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. First of all, I didn't expect to hit him, but we did. And we we knocked off its left arm, and then hopefully this will be enough to take out the sniper. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bang! You're dead. Bang! You're dead. We have we have a hundred percent morale. When above 50%, your mech warriors will have slightly increased combat prowess. Special abilities like precision visions must spend morale to activate. Well, we're at 100, I guess, which is great. We should probably do one. But I'm not gonna. Why don't we jump jet into the forest? Engaging jump jets. That's terrible. No, no. Everything else is fine, I guess. Precision strike, take a called shot. If we do precision strike on him and go for the head, nah. 29, 29. Yeah, I don't think we want to burn precision shots. Keep the morale as it is and just hit him with everything I've got at 60% and over and hope. Engaging target. All the lasers. There is a turkey outside of my window. They've got a there he goes! Bye, turkey! Oh, he's really close, and he's adorable. Warning. Enemy sensor They're still sensor locking like crazy. What is sensor locking us? All right, that's a problem. Those are those tarts over there. 
So the sensor locks must be coming from those turrets. That's kind of annoying. I kind of just want to go for the generator and hope that that's going to be enough. So Decker Commander. is fine. Let's go into the forest and move him over. Moving to position. For better vision. Can I actually go for this turret generator? It's got a hundred fucking health. Honestly, let's go for the turret generator. Bludge it. Can I precision strike the turret generator? Not really. I mean, I can maybe technically, but let's not. Inspiring. That I miss? Now we hit it. The thing is, if we the turret generator should take down all turrets, right? So we should be good. He's going to punch me. Damn. I'm not. Su I'm surprised he actually went for a fucking punch. Armor breached. Internal damage. All right. Well, it's our turn. Mathis is right here. I'm thinking we just kick him. We do 40 damage at 85% chance to hit. Waiting for orders. Or we move up, try and take out the turret generator with the behemoth. Head or down. we actually get. Be we could get behind him as well. Reposition ourselves behind him. Maybe jump jet over him and, and hit him from the back. But first, let's worry about the turret generator and hit it with everything. Firing. Okay, all turrets are down. Target destroyed. Destroy the corpse sec tower. That'll be next. So glitch, jump jet behind him. Execute. Jump jump attack using pilot skill to hit. Ignores evasive. Hit removes guarded. Deals significant damage and stability damage. Attacker incurs leg damage and stability damage. Oh, I don't want to... Like, I jump on top of him? That's not what I want. Let's just kick him first and see what happens. Oh, that worked. We just headbutt it and it worked fine. And I got to cool down. All right, so now we need to kill Corpsec Tower, which is over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and sprint him out, and we'll start moving this way. Oh, everybody, we're out of we're out of initiative. All right, cool. Orders. I'm a little nervous, but I have Decker do a little scouting here. Coordinates received. Minimal damage to mechs. That went super well for us. Alright, we have enemy contact. Oh, they're drop shipping. Fair. Two mechs? A mech and a. Waiting for orders. A mech and a tank? Let's just move up a little bit. A scorpion. That's all we can hit. Roger. Well, we melted some of the metal. Just want to see what these are. Another a shadow hawk. Holy shit! That's real bad. For you. Um, save our friend. Orders. We move up here. Get Behemoth up top. We are going to be short and medium range-ish. Her weapons are all over the place, man. But we're going to definitely aim for him. What if we do... What the hell? Why does it all look like it's blue? Take off the 30% and just hit him with everything else. Firing on target. Not enough. Oh, the tank. The tank gets to roll up. Ow. That's 45 damage, man. All right. Decker's got to run as far as I'm concerned. Let's jump up to here. Engaging jump jets.
I'm just gonna go everything on the mech. All weapons committed. Not enough. Okay. Tank is rolling down the road. Weird. I hear ya. Okay. A B B go. Got it. Somehow still alive. And we missed our big two shots. Oh, it's gonna be an XCOM game. That would be a miss. Yeah, that would be a miss. Good job. All right, Decker's gotta go. Good to go. We're gonna get Decker pretty much completely out. I don't want his back too exposed, so I'm gonna have him turn. All right, they might not be able to catch up to him if I make him run out this way. So let's get him over here. Copy that. But he's gotta go. I feel like the tanks were not as hard in the first mission. They usually went down in one or two hits. Okay, we're good. That could have been a lot worse. Overheating if we do that. Glitch. What if we what if we just go? Really? I can't punch him? What about you? Standing by. Let's see if we can kill the tank Target off at flight. least. Good enough. One for the scrap heap. Okay. Damn tank. Okay, let's keep moving for the evasion. No, no, we're not gonna overheat if we do it like that. What if we precision strike him? I don't know, precision strike just doesn't seem worth it. Where I can just go and unload on him like so. Just do that. That seems to be better in every way. Waiting on you, Commander. I want to be able to hit both. So let's do it like that. Rotate ourselves in such a way where we can. And we'll see if we can hit both here. A, sure. A. B, yeah. Let's do it like that. Line him up and I'll shoot him down, Commander. Hey, there he goes. Just a little bit of damage. Lasers don't seem to do much. I was kind of hoping that lasers would at least. Receiving you. Uh. It's gonna move him up a little bit. Laser would at least like maybe add to his heat. I just can't tell. Doesn't seem to. Is he gonna go for a punch? I think he's gonna go for a melee hit. Yeah, from behind. We can punch him back though. Warning. Armor low. Well, screw you, dude. Good to go. We'll Don't go for two punches. Did we just miss? Whoa, wait a minute, what was that attack? Ready for orders. Wait, what? Wait, 
Well, that didn't work as well as I hoped. Confirmed. Hit him with everything. Copy that. Hope for the best. Is he not gonna fall over? There it is. Okay. Bye. Knocked down. Pilot injured. Can Decker hit him? Ready for orders. He could get up here and potentially just do some damage. But I'm afraid this might get him killed. So why don't we reserve for now? Select a unit and reserve. Reserving action. Standing by. No, no. Okay. Stomp on him. All right, there goes his other arm and his pilot. So we've got both of his arms and his, the pilot's down. So the mech is down. So now, I don't want to sprint. I want to move and hopefully just be able to hit him. Hit the, hit the building. Yeah. Engaging target. Down it goes. Finally. Double back to our client's platform. The sooner we can collect our pay and break orbit, the better. Is that it? I hear ya. Wait, we have to we actually have to walk our asses back. Return to the your employer's platform. Yep, we actually have to walk our asses back. Uh-huh. Here we go. I'm waiting for an enemy to fucking show up at this point. I'll leave this guy here. Roger that. I don't want to risk <laughs> sending in Decker and then all of a sudden we get ambushed like crazy. We'll send the vind Vindicator closer. On my way. Move order received. Bracing for impact. We get like completely nuked from orbit or something. You betcha. Roger. Everybody in. Copy. Well, if that first mission is going to be an indication of how things are going to go, I need to get better much faster because that should not have been as hard as it was for us. Bracing for impact. Brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up the other platforms now that their defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which, I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us much good if we can't hold them. Majesty Metals taught us that, so we're going to need your battle mechs. You're going to want to reconsider that. Why? Your lance has already been target locked by our turrets. Now, power down and surrender, and we'll let you walk. Or try to fight, and we'll tear you to shreds. Your call. <sighs> well, there goes our goddamn payday. Hold tight, Commander. We're on our way. So they're literally now robbing us. Enemy detected. So now we have to fight? Of course. This is exactly what I was expecting. Yay! All right, where are the enemies? Um... I need to move Decker out. Wait, why do I have yep, to? Commander. There we go. Oh, we just got turrets all around us. God damn it. Uh, let's move him back. can't for some reason right here he can like turn around weirdly so I guess we're gonna move him back and then he whips around for some reason um turret generator yeah target confirmed that's what we're gonna have to go for see if we can smash this thing and shut down all turrets we'll see how it goes though I think our spider might go down Galleon. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh. Really? Oh, that hit meat. Head hit. Pilot injured. Let's back up a bit.
turret generator first. Okay, goodbye turrets. Target building destroyed. I don't know why they thought that would be a good idea. How many tanks we got? Minimum two. What can I do for you? Moving out. Vindicator. Smash through all their buildings like I give a shit. Here, let's go double. LRMs. Sure, let's do it like that. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Okay. That went super well. Goodbye. Smoked them. Yeah, you smoked them. You did a great job. Good to go. We've got another tank there. Do it like that, just in case. Got it. Backing up. Should give us a little bit of evasion. Nope. Because we backed up, I guess. Let's try not to... Eh, it doesn't matter. This is not going to add much heat to us, so let's just unload. Roger that. If we kill some of their buildings in the meanwhile, whoops. Reporting. Enemy vehicles eliminated. Okay. Now we know there's one over there. Orders. I'm just gonna brace him. Hunkering down. Let the enemy come to us. Damn it. <laughs> he went for the spider anyway. Good thing we braced, I guess. Why don't we try and keep him at medium range here? Say that didn't do anything. That didn't kill him at all. Enemy unit destroyed. I don't know why they thought they could take us with a couple of tanks and an exposed target generator. Stand by for extraction, Commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius. I know, Mayor. I know. You want another team meeting? Give the man a prize. Mission successful. Ooh. All right. Well, we did it. Though my spider is all messed up. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it is. It is what it is. Uh, recapture employer's mining platforms, engage, and su survive, which we did. Well done, Commander. You made the best of a bad situation. Here's hoping we don't run to another job like that one. Uh, mercenary review board, 15 rated. Morale, 25. Payout. We actually got money for that. 276,600 credits. And, ooh, everybody got experience. Uninjured, uninjured. He's injured for 20 days and 26 days. These two are almost out for a month completely. And then these are the kills. Spider didn't get any kills, but he's all fucked up. Damn it, man. That's crazy. I don't know what any of this means, really. But uh, I'm interested to see what happens now. Because we still haven't really gotten to the, the, the management layer of the game, which is I'm excited for. Ugh, coffee is delicious. You need to start finding us better clients, Starius. I mean it. We've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer, but I can't just conjure up new clients out of midair. Michael, do me a solid and back me up on this. All right, so this is where I get to choose. This is why you made all, made me your commander, so I could break up fights and review financial reports. Oh, I'm the commander now? All right. If we're really that hard for cash, we need to stop talking and start doing something about it. No thanks, Darius. I didn't take command of this outfit to settle arguments. Um, I'm going to say, is this why you made me your commander? So I could break up fights and review financial reports? Damn, damn right it is. It isn't like any of us wanted the job. Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? It might help if you broke things down point by point. I do wish this was voice acted, I'm not going to lie. Sure thing, Yang. Point one, Meyer's right. We're in debt. Every C bill we make technically belongs to the banks. 
Point two, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. They're clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And that's it. There are no other points. So let's see, our best case, what's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. We've got battle max and okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we gonna do about it? What's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Remember, I don't wanna be like my parents. Truthfully, can't even say. We're in a pretty deep hole. From where, where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. Thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely. They don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can to get us, get away with, to keep us on the hook. Hit us with fees, jack up our interest rates, misfile our paperwork. I'm trying to find us a way out of this, but it's gonna take time. And every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we keep going like this, like we have been, we're screwed. Why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around, we've got battle mechs. That wouldn't be a very good idea, Mike. The banks wouldn't come for us themselves. They'd hire mercenaries. And you already know how hard up frontier mercs are for work. If we stiff the banks, we'll wind up dead or in debtor's prison. And out here in the frontier, those are basically the same thing. All right, we're in a bad spot. What are we gonna do about it? I don't see what else we can do, Mike. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I find. Unless you want me to sidestep the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. All right, so we can hover over this and find out what that means. Founded in 2789, the Mercenary Review Board, MRB, serves as an impartial broker of mercenary contracts. The MRB is overseen by Comstar, a communications giant that is famous for its neutrality. An essential component of modern military culture, the MRB ensures an even playing field between mercenary companies and their employers. And it is quick to arbitrate any breach of contract. So basically, it's like a, it's a business that doles out mercenary work. Cool. Go around the MRB? Yeah, no thanks. Taking uncertified job is a great way to find uh, wind up with a knife in your back. So we just got betrayed on a board certified contract, Yang. How much worse could it get? Plenty. What happened down there was an exception, boss. With uncertified jobs, it's the rule. Remind me again why we just don't skip town and head to a nicer corner of the periphery, which is the rim world that we were talking about uh, that we learned when we made our character. Because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. Jump ships are space-going vessels capable of faster than light travel, using massive uh, Kearney Fushida drives to instantaneously jump from one planetary system to another. Typical civilian jump ship designs dedicate 95% of their mass to the KF drive and a solar energy collection system to power it, leaving little room for conventional engines. Consequently, these ships are only seen at jump points beyond each star's gravitational proximity limit. Commercial interstellar travel involves riding a drop ship from the planet to the jump point, docking the drop ship to a jump ship, uh, for transit for a new system and then riding the dropship back down to the destination planet. Cool. I like that little bit of like kind of realistic sci-fi. That's a good reason. Look, Darius, Meyer's right. We need to start earning some real money and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Ooh, origin bankruptcy. I've seen the damage that bankruptcy can do firsthand. That isn't gonna happen to this crew. You hear that, Darius? The voice of experience speaks. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure. So might be might a thousand other things. But going broke, that'll destroy this company, guaranteed. It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside the MRB system. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for the best. It isn't like we've got all that much to lose. In the meantime, we need to find another a paying job, and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find work to keep going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our jump ship access hostage until we repay our debts. For now, we can only go between Ur, Kruin, and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. Our top priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only viable one I could find and it helpfully, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. All right. Oh, damn. And now we've got all this stuff. All right. I'm going to stop here. I know this is a little early, but what I want to do for next episode is kind of overview all this stuff followed by doing a mission. So it should be a bit of like an hour-ish episode is my guess. We'll see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, you let me know in the comment section below. My hand like button. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.